What's at you, Toga Peeps? Superior is coming at you today with episode 7, I believe, of our Nuzlocke Challenge. And we're going into a cave, which is New Area. And we want to get through this first level of the cave without uh, running into any Pokemon, so we're going to use this Repel. So, we're going to run, pick up an escape rope, and... We're going to come all the way down into the bottom of this cave. And uh, what that hiker would have told us had we stopped and talked to him was that you need Flash to get through this cave, but you don't. Because in this generation of the games, you get a nice little circle to find yourself uh, where you need to go. And we're looking for a... There we go. Pretty much just a ladder to the next level. And we're going to run across a Pokemon, even though we have a Repel up. And it's going to be an Aeron. I could live with catching an Aeron in this game. So we have Ken at the front of the party, and Ken only has ghost and normal type attacks. So we're going to switch out here. We're going to go to Ivy because Ivy has the uh, Stun Spore, which will help us catch this thing. It's going to tackle us, do not that much damage. So uh, we're going to hit it with a Stun Spore, which is going to paralyze it, make it easier to catch. And Aaron was one of my first... Uh, actually one of my first favorite Pokemon from this generation because Aggron, I mean, despite its terrible typing, in my opinion, is just a baller. So we're going to hit it with a Leech Seed, which is going to slowly give us health as we go and slowly whittle him down because I don't think we're really going to have to worry about it. And he's going to get the Parahax. Now we're going to drink some coffee. Ah, uh, bueno. So, uh, I really don't want to kill this thing. I mean, whatever we hit it with is going to be neutral. We're going to go with the Mega Drain, just see how much damage it does. I don't think that should be enough to take it out at this point. Oh, and it, that's that's pretty good damage. And Arrow's going to miss us with that tackle. This might take it down into the yellow, and it is. So we're just going to throw a Pokeball at it, see if we can catch it at this point. No, I don't want to switch Pokemon. I'm going to reach into our bag, and throw a Pokeball at it, and see if we can catch it. So Pokeball, go! And we get one jiggle, two jiggles, three jiggles. Oh no, that was too close. Aaron's gonna tackle this again. We're getting a little bit more health from it. Which hopefully we'll be able to take it down this time. Because if not, we're gonna have to uh, use a Great Ball, which I really wouldn't mind using. Because I do like the Great Balls. Gonna get one jiggle, two jiggle, three jiggle. And we catch it. So Aaron was caught. For some reason, the ROM doesn't have the catch animation. I don't know. So Aaron is a body of steel. With one all that charges, Pokemon can demolish a heavy dump truck. Can you imagine if this thing existed in real life? Uh... The, yeah, it destroys the dump truck and then... And this... Aaron just becomes a behemoth. So we're gonna name this thing Bertha. So... All right, Bertha. I'm gonna use the crap out of you. So uh, we're following the wall, continue still, and we're running into more Pokemon. Repel must not repel Aeron very well. So we got Ken. We're gonna run away. Hopefully, we can. We might want to switch the Pokemon we have at the beginning of the party. And I don't think we have anybody that's gonna be able to. Ooh, Aeron has an item. Is it gonna be like a metal coat? Well, Hardstone. And Hardstone, I believe, raises rock-type attacks. Which is pretty baller. So, um, we're gonna- we're just gonna put Jamie at the front of the party. For now. Because Jamie will be fast and be able to escape from most of the Pokémon in this cave. Not a problem. So, oh, there. Our repel wears off there. We're gonna come up here. And try to find our way around. So, oh, a Sableye. That would've been so awesome for this playthrough, too. Sableye really wasn't that great in this generation, because it didn't have Prankster. I mean, while it still had all of its good moves, Prankster just really put it over the top in its uh, usefulness and greatness. So, um, Sableye, another Sableye, we're just going to uh, run away from it. And too bad I don't have another Repel. So, uh... We're gonna come up here, and I don't know what we get up here? Well, there was obviously a ladder there. And, oh, don't... Don't stray from the side, so... What? There's a ladder we came up. 
and we'll come up this one, which is going to bring us to a Pokemon battle. And an Abra. That would have been fun to catch. But it wasn't meant to be. We've already caught something in this cave. As far as I know, the entire cave counts as an entire area. Or, yeah, the entire cave counts as an entire area. That didn't make any sense. The cave itself counts as one whole area, from what I understand for Nuzlocke challenges. So we're just going to roll with that. And I'm not sure where this is going to take us. Oh, this takes us to Steven. Oh, it's Pokenham. And we have something to give to him. Yay. So he's going to get the letter. Uh, and I forget what he gives us. Oh, yeah, Steel Wings. Steel Wings is a nice TM. I don't think we have anybody we can give it to because we don't have any flying type Pokemon, though. Okay, and he's gonna run away. So, um, we're gonna check our Pokemon. And we're gonna check the summary on this guy. Unfortunately, we evolved a level late. Level late, so we didn't get a good. I think we get Never Stone. Maybe not. Since we evolved late, we aren't going to get, um, Confusion. Which kind of really sucks because we're coming up against a fighting gym. And... We're just gonna jet. Oh, uh, we're gonna switch our Pokemon. If we get Mondo up a couple levels, I wasn't even thinking about that. Once we get Mondo up a couple levels, it'll learn Gust. That'll pretty much destroy anything we're gonna come up against here. So, um... Here's a Zubat. So, we're just gonna tackle crap this thing to death. And we miss. And it really isn't gonna do much to us. And we defeat that, and that is, wow, terrible bad experience. And we're gonna have to find our way back through this cave, which is okay. So... We're gonna more Pokemons. And here's an Aeron, and we have no literally nothing to hit Aeron, because it next four resists. Uh, tackle, and is immune to our poison sting. So we can't catch any more Pokemon here, so we are we are just going to escape rope our asses out of this place. Because I don't think there'd really be a point in going all the way back through this place, since we can't do anything. Um, there's the escape rope, and we will use it. Hooray. So we're out of the cave now, and I don't know if at what level this learns rock throw or anything like that. It doesn't have anything yet that would be worth putting the uh, hard rock on it, but eventually it will learn good moves, hopefully. So we're going to come down here, and someone informed me in my last video that when I came over here, this is Route 107, when I caught that... um. No, that isn't where I wanted to go. When we caught our tentacle, so we could still come back to the city and catch another Pokemon. Which would be nice. Maybe we catch a better water-type Pokemon. I don't know if you actually catch any better water-type Pokemon with this crap rod. But maybe we'll come back when we have a better rod. So, um... Yeah, I really don't think we're going to be able to do any good at all against this gym. Until we get some experience on our, uh, on our, on our Mondo. Well, you know what? What the hell? We'll take a stab at a few battles here and see what Mondo can do. He's probably going to be severely underleveled compared to everything. But we'll, like, super ultra resist everything. Because we are, uh, I believe Bug Poison. Let's check. Yeah, Bug Poison. So I'm pretty sure... I guess we'll only one times resist, but that's that should be good. I don't think Bug's weak to fighting. So here's a trainer. Don't brush her off. Okay, and we're going to see what this lady can do to us. 
coffee, and Battle Girl has a Meditate. And... <coughs> Excuse me, that's actually bad news if it has... If it is carrying a... Like, Confusion, because that'll be super effective against us. Let's see what we can do with the Tackle, and we're gonna miss. Fuck. So let's see what happens. It continues to Meditate, raising its attack. And it's gonna Detect, and it's gonna Bide. So we're gonna switch out Pokemon. We're gonna go into Bertha, because it won't be able to do anything to us with this Bide. So we're just going to, um, switch those two moves, and we're just going to hit it with that, but see what happens. It's going to unleash its energy, but it isn't going to do a whole heck of a lot of anything, because we super resist it. But is it by a normal type move? Why didn't we resist that? It's going to confusion us. We will resist that. And we'll take it out with the headbutt. Oh, I can't believe we did that much damage. So we defeat that Meditite. Mondo and Bertha both get a nice chunk of experience. So we defeat Battle Girl Laura. And wah, I lost. Yes, you sure did, because you suck. So every time you beat a uh, trainer in this gym, you get a little bit more uh, visibility, or whatever you want to call it, to where you can see where you're going. And here's another girl. Actually, this is a guy. Light is right. Come on. Come get you some, son. So we're going to fight Black Belt Hideki. And he has a chop, and we should just be able to destroy this thing. Hopefully, if we can hit some tackles, we're even faster. Wow, that was terrible bad. So um, tackles aren't doing anything. It's continuing to leer us. We got a crit there. It went for focus energy, and a karate chop just didn't do a lot. Just can low kicking. Oh balls! And Mondo goes down. So let's see into Mondo. So I guess we're not going to be using Mondo anymore. So, uh... Well, I suppose we're going to be relying on Ivy now. So go get him, Ivy. And Ivy's just going to, uh, destrollish this thing. The chop's going to leer us. It isn't going to matter. Because we're just going to bullet seed the crap out of this thing. And that's going to take it down. So my chop goes down. We hit it twice. And Ivy's gonna get to level 17 off of that, which is wonderful. Way to defeat Black Belt Hideki. Yep, not enough power for you. So, um... Let's go into our Pokemon. What type Pokemon? Steel Rock? Why the heck didn't we... Resist the, that Bite attack? That is blowing my mind. But, um... I'm gonna check and see if we can teach Steel Wing. We have Rock Tomb, which would be an excellent Rock-type attack. Let's see if we can teach Steel Wing to... Nope, not to anybody. So let's go into Rock Tomb. And give that to... Bertha for now. So it'll have a Rock-type attack. And we'll get rid of... Crap. We'll get rid of Tackle. That's fine. So it learns Rock Tomb. And we're gonna give it the Hard Stone back. Yep, raises the power of... Okay, okay, yep. We want to give and not whatever I did. So we need to get out of here and go deposit Bertha into the box. Because she's not worth it anyways. Not learning confusion. What the fuck? But anyways, yep, we're coming up to the PC. And unfortunately we have no... Well, actually, our tentacles, a fighting type resist, but it's so low leveled, I don't think it's gonna do, do us much good at this point. So, yeah. So, we're still our Pokemon for our health. And we're going to deposit Mondo into the graveyard. And I don't think we have any Pokemon in the box. No, we don't. And, oh, look at that. Two Pokemon that would be great against this gym. Both dead. Fucking losers. So, um... Let's check our Pokemon. And we definitely don't want Ken in the beginning of the party. So let's move... Let's move Ivy up to the front of the party and see what she can do. Hopefully she doesn't get, like, super crit hacked. Or this will be a very short Nuzlocke challenge. Then we can move on to something else. But yeah, let's hope not. Not a really what I want to do. 
So I don't think there are very many more trainers here. So we just fought this guy. Maybe there's a few more, because I think we run into a double battle somewhere. Um. Yeah, is there somebody up here? Oh, there's freaking Brawly. Let's come back this way, see if there's another peon for us to beat. And there is. We always want to beat the peons because they're always really good for experience. And we're hitting the wrong buttons. And she thinks she's going to crush us. And we'll drink our coffee and laugh. She actually has three Pokemon. That's surprisingly good for these people. We're just going to bullet seed to see what kind of damage we can do. It's going to hit us with infusion. Shouldn't do a whole heck of a lot because of the level difference. And hopefully we'll just rock this thing with bullet seeds. Not really. Wow. I think Brawly has a Meditate too. So that could prove to be a problem. Wow, we're going to hit five times and it's just barely going to take it down to half. That makes me sad. So we're going to put a lead sheet so we get uh, continuous uh, damage on this thing. And then we're going to hit him with a Mega Drain. See how much damage that'll do. So we're getting the Leech Seed back. We're going to hit it up with a Mega Drain. Meditate's going to Confusion. Again, not going to do a whole heck of a lot. Get it with a Mega Drain. Hopefully get lots of health back. That did a significant amount of damage, which is nice. Leech Seed will finish it off. And we'll be fighting the next Pokemon, which will probably be like a friggin' Meditate. So Meditate goes down. Ivy gets a nice chunk of experience. She's going to use Meditate. And we are going to switch out into Bertha, because I don't think Meditate has Fighting-type attacks at this point. At least they never use them in the game if they do. So hopefully they don't, because that will probably just destroy us straight in the face. So we're going to go for Rock Tomb, because it's stabbed. It's going to hit us with a Confusion. Again, not very effective. So we're going to go with the Rock Tomb. Super... Yeah, not super effective. Uh, stab damage. Not very... Fuck! I forgot Fighting Resist Rock. Why do I always forget that? Well, we're going to lower its speed. We're just going to hit it... With She's going to withdraw and go into her Machop. I don't know that I've ever known an in-game trainer to switch Pokemon before. That's kind of weird. A little bit. Now, we're going to go into Jamie. Let's see what kind of damage Jamie can do to this thing. Because Machop's definitely going to have lower uh, special attack, or special defense compared to... Um... Compared to whatever she just had out there. Crap. Meditate. And absorb critical hit. We get a lot of damage off of that. And Machop's going to leer us. Not worried about it. Just going to want to switch out when we come back anyways. Actually, no, we're not. We're just going to do this with a quick attack for shits and giggles. Because we know it's going to take it out at this point. So, Jamie. A little chunk of experience. Bertha gets a little chunk of experience. We're going to switch into Meditate. We're going to stay in with this. And I just want to see how much damage a pursuit a pursuit will do. Probably not a lot because it's uh Yeah. Decent amount. It's gonna meditate. It's not gonna survive this absorb, I don't think. Uh yeah, we'll just go for absorb, see how much damage we're gonna get on it. Probably not a lot. Because absorb has pathetics. Yeah. I was gonna bide. Not uh worried about it because we're gonna finish off with pursuit. So Meditate goes down. Jamie, chunk of experience there. Speed of Battle Girl, Tessa. And that's that. So, um... The only person we have left to fight is Brawly himself. I think he has like two or three Pokemon. So, uh, let's check our bag. See how many potions and stuff we have, if any. So we got four super potions. Five potions. We should be alright. I think... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and drop that on Ivy. So, um... Yeah. Let's see what this guy can do for us. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, we want to challenge you. So, bring it on! Don't sing it. Bring it, son. So, Brawly has two Pokemon. He's gonna stop a chop. Which shouldn't really be a problem for us. We're gonna hit him with a Leech Seed. He's gonna Karate Chop us. And that did a bunch. We're going to with the Leech Seed. Luckily, we don't miss, which is really good. We're going to be getting constant damage from that. So we are going to switch Pokemon here. We're going to go into Jamie, because I think Jamie's probably going to be able to deal more damage to this thing. 
Chop's gonna bulk up, and that is not good at all. Not good at all. Thank God we hit it with the, um... Uh, Leech Seed. We're gonna be getting damage back from that. So, uh, health is gonna be sap. We're gonna hit it with the Absorb. Because it's not raising its special attack with bulk... Or special defense with bulk up. And oh good lord, it's gonna leer us and it's gonna try and hack us to death, which isn't good. And the sad thing is this guy's probably carrying super potions, which is gonna make his Pokemon super extra good. But luckily, Leech Seed is, like, wearing him down big time. And I'm gonna go for a cut, because I think it's... Wow, that did nothing. It's gonna Karate Chop us. Hopefully it won't crit. Wow. Wow. That is scary damage. And we're gonna switch our Pokemon here. Let's go back into Ivy, because I think Ivy will probably be able to take it. Uh, Karate Chop, hopefully... We're gonna have definitely a little bit better luck here. And... I'm gonna go for the Mega Drain because I think he's going to... Yep, gonna use the Super Potion, heal his Pokémon almost completely, and it is completely, and that's sad. But we are gonna get a bunch of health back from this Mega Drain. No, we're not. Wow. This sucks so bad. But, again, Leech Seed is helping us out immensely. I don't want to hit it with Stun Spore and give it Guts, because that would suck even worse. So we're going to Mega Drain, and we really need, like, a super crit right here. We aren't going to get it. But luckily, we are uh, healing ourselves almost all the way back up every time. The Chop's going to Karate Chop us. Going to take us down to 13, and that's... Oof, wicked bad damage. And we're probably going to have to use a Super Potion here to heal ourselves up. And actually, we're just going to drop... A regular potion here, because we're closer to 20 than... if. And he's going to use his other super potion as well, which is good, because whatever he brings in next, we'll be able to just whittle down. Because they only carry as many Pokem uh, potions as they do Pokemon. Oh, we're going to run out of uh, PP for this. So let's... Oof. Go for the bullet seed here. It's going to seismic toss us, so it's only going to do 17 damage, which is excellent. Oh, and it's going to get a... Oh, crap. It's probably going to get guts boost now. Fuck. And that is really going to be bad. And we only hit two times there, which is pathetic. So we're going to tell here whether or not it gets the guts boost. I don't even know if Machop had another... Well, Seismic Toss, it isn't going to matter. Because Seismic Toss is guaranteed amount of damage. We're going to Mega Train. Come on, give us, like, a super crit right now. Fuck! How many times are we going to have to attack this thing before we get a crit? Damn it. But, um... At least the poison is killing it. So, we're just going to reach into our bag, and we're going to... 20 hit points, were we down? Okay, that'll take us back to full... He's going to Karate Chop. Hopefully this doesn't super crit us. And that definitely was Guts boosted. So that super sucks. But Poison will take him down this turn. Thank God. So, they both get experience. He's going to send up Makihita. And we're going to stay in because we want to get this Leech seated as soon as possible. Hopefully we hit. He's going to Arm Thrust us. Hopefully he doesn't hit super much times. Oh, there's three. He's gonna hit four. You gotta be shitting me. And we're gonna survive with one hit point. Thank God. Wow. That was scary. But Ivy, hanging in like a pro. And we are going to reach into our bag. And use a freaking potion. Wow. That was nasty. Maki is going to continue to arm thrust us. And it's going to get poisoned, which... Okay, this doesn't seem to have guts, which is good. But he's just freaking destroying us with arm thrust. God, it hit five times twice in a row, you fucking hexing faggot. God, that pisses me off. 
but we should just be able to destroy this thing slowly with Poison Leech Seed and Mega Drain. Hopefully. Lucky to oh, you paxing faggot. God, I hate gym leaders. They suck so bad! But hopefully we'll get this guy out of the way and not all of our Pokémon will be weak to it anymore. Because half the Pokémon on our team are weak to fire, the other half are weak to freaking fighting. So, thank God we are slowly destroying this thing with residual damage. Um, Aki is gonna arm thrust us. Let's see how many times he hits this time. And he only gets two that time, so that's good. So, and we miss our Mega Drain. But hopefully Leech Seed... Leech Seed and Poison might actually take it out this turn. Which is excellent. Excellent effects for Ivy pulling through like a fucking champ. In a pinch. Being a badass motherfucker. And made a much bigger splash than I expected. That's what she said. Giggity. You got me. Take the gym badge. I will take it. And now we can see everything. Um, yeah. You need to talk to us. We got the knuckle badge from Raleigh. And we didn't lose any Pokemon. Winning. Knuckle badge makes all Pokemon with level 30. Alright. That's good. And we can use Flash now. And he's gonna give us Bulk Up, I think. Which is a really good move, if we needed it for a Pokemon. Contains Bulk Up, raises attack and defense, which is good. Um, I don't think we have Flash yet. And I'm not sure where we get it. Oh eh, well. Not like I really want it on any of my Pokemon, anyways. So we defeated Brawly. And the only thing we lost was a Mondo, and that was with his Peons. So we're gonna heal up our Pokemon. So let's just check to make sure everybody survived that. Yes, everybody survived that. Ivy the boss surviving with one hit point because he's a boss. So she's gonna take our Pokemon, heal him up, and our Pokemon are back to full health. Thank you very much. So, oops. We're gonna put... We're gonna throw Birth at the front of the party for now. And since we're done with that, I think we talked to everybody in all these houses. And I, yeah, I think we did. So we're going to talk to Mr. Briny, who will take us to Slateport City. We can go back to Petalburg, but there's nothing there for us yet. So we're going to go to Slateport City. And Anchor's Way, Pico, we're setting sail, my darling. Pico. And uh, on this journey, you will see the uh, sunken vessel... There it goes right now, or sunken boat, or sunken ship, or something. I don't remember exactly what it was called. But uh, once we get surf, we will be able to come back and uh, explore that. It is a nice little area to go. And we have to find the captain and give him Devon Goods. And we are going to come across... Uh, actually, we're going to switch Ken to the front of the party. Because all these people on the beach have, like, water-type Pokemon. And this will actually be the last battle we do because we are approaching 30 minutes. And we're gonna fight. Ah, oh, freaking Machop. You've got to be ball sacking me. So, so after all that, we run into a freaking Machop. And we're gonna send out the Machop killer, Ivy. And we're gonna get low kicked. Not gonna do anything because we weigh virtually nothing. We're gonna hit it with a Leech Seed. And Leech Seed's gonna hit. We're gonna get some health back. And Machop's gonna leer us because he's hacking douche. Yum, coffee. So we are at negative one defense. Um, hit it with a Mega Drain, see how much damage we can get. This one is a, a couple levels lower than the Gym Leader, so we are going to get a lot more damage on it. I'm going to Karate Chop us. Again, I'm not going to do a lot. We are at negative one. And now we are at... He's at uh, plus two attack, I think, because of the Guts boost. But I think this Mega Drain might be able to take him out. If not, we should be sitting with enough health to where... Yeah, it took him out. So, good riddance. Machop. The douche. And we defeat Sailor Huey. Maybe we'll find uh, Dewey and Louie later on. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this episode. Episode 7 of Tup's uh, Sapphire Nuzlocke Challenge. Uh, see you next time, guys. Catch you on the flip side. Peace out.